Hello, my name is Dane Cummings, and today I'll be preaching on riches and wealth. Have you ever wanted that one thing, you know, maybe a game, it may be some sort of new game or a new game console, maybe some clothes, maybe even a car? I mean, you might think about earning it honestly, like working a job for it or asking for money. Or you may have thought about earning it dishonestly, you know, you might find money on the ground, and then you lie and say, say it's yours and such. Most of those options are foolish. A fool in Proverbs is considered someone who is uncompromisingly committed to himself. His ideas and wants and needs are above everyone else's. He thinks he knows everything and refuses to listen to the corrections and advice of others. Today, dishonest ways to earn money surround us. It can be small things like finding money on the ground, up to big things like gambling in the lottery. A verse that goes against this is Proverbs 13.11, which states, Dishonest money dwindles, but he who gains little by little grows. Other examples of dishonest money, are, uh, one of the, some of the other examples of dishonest money are lying, cheating, and stealing. Dishonest money isn't worth it. Take this lottery story, for example. Jack Whitaker was already a millionaire, but on the Christmas of 2002, he won about $315 million. That's the biggest single-person lottery win in history. After tax and all, he got $93 million. Eventually, his wife, his, tri- his daughter, and his granddaughter all died of drugs. He, he also got robbed of about, of about 500000 and 100000 at a time, and he gave millions to charities. As I said, most of his life was ruined because he lost almost a, lot of, a big chunk of his family because they went to drugs after he got rich and died. Dishonest money can be taken as money obtained through unsound means or in haste. This proverb clearly obtains earning money in haste or dishonestly or illegally. A quote from a British statesman, Edmund Burke, says, If we command our wealth, we shall be rich and free. If our wealth commands us, we shall be poor indeed. This can also go along with another lottery story about a girl who won the lottery. I mean, a girl who won around 1 million euros in a lottery at at age 17. She eventually sued the, the lottery company because they allowed an under 18 year old to enter a lottery and they didn't offer advice on how to use it, showing that she was foolish because she didn't know how to spend her money. Money has the ability to bless or curse depending on the character of the person. Today, money is sadly used to try and satiate our lust of flesh, like buying expensive, co- like buying expensive clothes and cars and such. The lust of the flesh, however, can never be satisfied. Now you may be asking, how do I prosper? The key to prospering lies in Proverbs 21.21, which says, He who pursues righteousness and love finds prosperity, life, and honor. Showing that as long as you pursue love and righteousness, we can prosper and earn more rather than earning it all at once and suffering because of it. God considers someone who walks in a faithful covenant, God considers that someone who walks in a faithful covenant relationship with God is someone who God considers righteous. We're meant to depend on him in this walk. For the next few weeks, I'm going to challenge you to love and be thankful for your possessions that you have. You can do this by thanking God for five things each and every night. And only then can we, and only then can we know what true richness is by walking in righteousness.